Hello, everybody. I'm John. And I'm Claire. And today we're talking about an article called Countryside Corruption. Uh, this is an article that is going to be about exactly what it says. <laughs> so there's no, there's going to be no big surprises there. But let's go ahead and ask a couple questions to kind of get in the mood. Um, I'll ask you guys first because this is not often in Korea. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, depending on where you live, it could be very easy to find this or it could be very difficult. Have you ever lived in a small town? Me? No. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always lived in big cities, yeah. but actually a lot of my students grew oh, up in small towns nice. and then came over to Seoul for university yeah, and yeah, ended yeah. up settling here. Crap. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it though. Sometimes I'll ask, what is a small city? Mm. And they'll be like, oh, it's like a million and a half people. Oh, okay. mm. That's not really a small town. Oh, it's 500,000. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's it's, the uh, smallest town you've ever lived in, John? Um, I'll go into more detail later, but it, it was under 350 people. <laughs> yeah. That's tiny. Yeah. Probably get into detail, I guess, in the second section, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. But it was tiny and it was a very different experience. Do you know anything about the Midwest? Of well, the USA. Of, of US, uh, mm -hmm. other than stereotypes, mm -hmm. you know I've never been to the US, mm -hmm. any part of it, but I have seen plenty of movies that have filled my head with all <laughs> kinds of uh, ideas about the mm -hmm. Midwest. Uh, the, is the Bible Belt in the Midwest? Uh, there is a lot of religion there, but the Bible Belt, I think, is technically right below it, maybe ah, touching a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it's very religious. I you see. can go that route. And quite rural, mm -hmm. you yes. know, a lot of farming. Yes. A lot mm -hmm. of... Um, Good, good old country boys. Mm -hmm. Yep, keep on going. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's all um, I can think of. Yeah, Midwest. What comes to mind is cheese and cars. Oh, cheese. Um, I like cheese. Uh, I don't like uh, the Midwest is technically, or sorry, Wisconsin is technically part of that. Chicago, of, no, no. What's it's not Chicago. What was the place that failed completely? Detroit. Detroit made all the cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you know that? I've seen Eight Mile. Okay. <laughs> It's a movie that Eminem wrote. I've seen it too. I don't, I, yeah, I just always imagined it was California. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have my own stereotypes. I've never technically been there, but you know, I've had a few friends from there and it, there's a lot of beauty to be held. Um, but I do love the reference in Anchorman when they call it the Middle East, which is what it should be called because it's not West at all. Ah, yes. The yeah. geography. <laughs> It's different. Yeah. <laughs> we have two west sides, or three west sides, the Midwest, the West, and then the West Coast. And um, only two of them are technically west of the middle of the U.S. <laughs> yeah. American geography is special. Yes. Um, well, let's go ahead and talk about the article by reading the whole thing or the summary so you understand what's going on, and then we will see you in the next section. Countryside Corruption Marion, Kansas, is a tiny town in the middle of the U.S., but it's been in the news a lot recently. A small but historic newspaper's office was raided by police after it investigated anonymous accusations against Marion's police chief and a local businessperson. The paper didn't write articles about the accusations, but just investigating them appears to have gotten them in trouble. This small-town drama soon became national news because freedom of journalism was being attacked. 